Hey y'all, welcome to today's vlog. I hope you guys are enjoying these travel vlogs. We are at the airport, we are at Frankfurt Airport. It is currently 4.51. And we are about to board to go to Paris, Charles de Gaulle Airport. We really wanted to go to Paris. We have always wanted to go to Paris. So we are finally going to Paris. Our flight is supposed to leave at 5.20 p.m. And it's currently 4.51, like I said. Um, today is Wednesday, August 9th to be precise and we are going to be there until Monday um, August 14th so yeah it's gonna be a good five days trip and I can't wait y'all I just can't wait Paris has been a place where I've been wanting to visit for the longest so the fact that we are actually at the airport by the go there is crazy I'm excited look at him we are in the plane you guys yes. It's supposed to be an hour and 15 minutes flight, so it shouldn't be super long. I'll see you guys when we get to Paris. <laughs> I'm excited. We have touched that to Paris. Yeah, I can barely see, but we're here. So, y'all, we are out here waiting for our ride. Jordan's cousins are coming to pick us up soon. I can already tell you guys that. There's a big difference from our airport in the States. There's the noise is so loud and they keep blowing. They keep blowing whistles. It's giving me headaches. So we went to our apartment, dropped off our luggages. And now we're going to my aunt's house. She got us some food and drinks. So we're about to go have a good time. It's currently 11.14. Um, we are in this Paris street. Yeah. So I'm excited. I can't wait to eat because I'm hungry. I'm really, really hungry. So yeah, apparently she's like 10 minutes away from the Eiffel Tower. She really, really, really in Paris. So I'll talk to you guys once we get to her place. So wings, pork, plantains, and the drink and a drink. We're crushing y'all. We are crushing. Merci. Thank you. The next day. We did a quick apartment tour of our apartment. So these are the stairs. It goes all the way down. Okay, so when you walk in, um, on your left, there's the bathroom. We are actually leaving this apartment because you guys see what's going on and there's a leak. So we are leaving. So um this is the bathroom <laughs> we actually go into another apartment and it has sliding doors so which is pretty cool okay here is the little room we got here yesterday i saw the leak um i told the people about it they told me to put the towel on the floor thinking it was going to be better but it's not so they said the neighbor downstairs is complaining about water dripping down so we actually living here but yeah this is the kitchen that's the view um closet our bedroom here they don't have dryers like that so this is what they use okay Pretty big with mirror closets. Um, this is the second bedroom. Nothing much. Closet right here. Little right there. Window right there. So that's that. There isn't much to show. I'm sure you guys have a little view here. So we are parked down there. We are parking the car to go. So yeah, that's it. There's a little office right here. So, that is that. We are leaving this place. So, yeah, y'all, well, that's it. That's for the TV. And, yeah, that's the washer. You guys see, there's no dryer. So, you can wash, but you gotta dry it. The way they dried it, you guys see. Someone had to come in when we were gone to turn off um, the water. So the toilet is not working right now. 
That's it, y'all. This is our new apartment. The door is huge. Um, so once you walk from the main door, there's another door, which is the one you're looking at right now. You walk down the hall, and there's an apartment. We are at the bottom floor, which is perfect. So once you walk in, there's a long hallway. The light is flicking, but it's cool. It's not a problem. There's a long hallway. You know, you can hang your, your, your coat here, all that good stuff. Here, there's a little place where they have you know all the electric switches and stuff like that so and there's a phone right here um down here there's like fire ext extinguisher and paint so once you walk down on your left there is a bedroom this is the bedroom we are going to stay in this is the first bedroom it's so cute y'all like i love the decoration like look at the lamp I love it. So this is the first bedroom. Um, they got towels like at the hotel. I love that. And we got a TV. I love that. Okay. Look at the lamps. So cute. Made out of bamboo. So this is the closet. More towels. Y'all, the first apartment we were at, the towel. Y'all saw the towel. Okay, y'all saw the towel just hanging, <laughs> literally hanging on the dryer thing that it had. Mm -mm. And here is to put this, you can look who is coming or just pull it down. Okay. And then here, you can see the other bedroom. But of course, we are going to make sure this stays closed, you know, so we can close it using this. Okay. So. Yeah, now, when you get out, there's a lot of artwork on the wall, like this, and you walk, walk, walk. Here is the second bedroom, okay? And it also has a TV, which I love. And this is the closet with more, the, t the closet has more towels and um, bed sheets, which is awesome. Someone's ringing the bell. I think that's hubby. It is him. <laughs> so here we have closet with um the thing to uh, iron the iron table and um, more closet space with more pillows, blankets. Oh my goodness! And the thing to clean the floor, the cleaning stuff. I love this. So right when you walk in here, there's a chair. I realized that they, they really focus on the bamboo decoration and the wood decoration in here. So I love it. And apparently this apartment was made in 2018, which is amazing. So this is the living room with an open concept kitchen. The TV here is huge. And the couch is pretty big as well. So. Someone can actually, you know, sleep here. This apartment actually sleeps six people, which is great. Because you guys know we have family. They can always come over. So now, here on my left, there's a bathroom. Okay? Got a shower. So cute. There's a bathroom. This is the thing to dry. Remember I told you guys that they do not have dryers. So you just lay this down. You dry your stuff on here. Um, this is me. <laughs> And it has two he, she, sinks, and soap. I love that. They really made this hotel style, and I love that. And I know my favorite color is pink and blue, so seeing the blue here makes me happy. Ooh. Now we are in the kitchen. Here is the fridge. This is my first time opening this. This is frozen. <laughs> um, here's the fridge. And it comes with water, thanks to them. And the microwave, okay, with the microwave cover, okay. Okay, what is this? Hmm, just space, <laughs> okay. Here's our stove. The stove, oops, this is open, okay, here. It does open? Yeah, yeah, it does, yep. Here's the stove. 
Um, I'm not putting on cooking here anyway, so probably be using the microwave and the stove and over to warm things up. But yeah, there's cleaning stuff in here. Silverware. Cooking stuff. Empty. Cutting pan and all that. Cooking pans. More silverware and things to cook with and serve with. Okay. So now, oh wow. We got a little knife organizer. That's cool. So now, on the left of the kitchen, you have all the plates. They have this armor with all the plates and cups, which is amazing. And here we have this, which is great as well. So we have our, our trash right here. Once you open here, there's the actual toilet, okay? So this is the toilet with pink, pink toilet tissues. Who you know with hand soap to wash your hands? A mirror right here. But y'all, like I said, my color is pink and blue. They have pink toilet tissue. And everywhere you see blue. So I stand, okay? So here is the toilet. Here's the washing machine and the mop to clean the floor. Like I told you guys, they really do not use dryers here. They dry it on racks like this one. So yeah, I would definitely wash my clothes though before I go back home. So here we have a bar. Three on this side, three on this side, six. So we can have breakfast in here, eat on here, all that good stuff. Here is a side table. And yeah, this is the coffee table. We have a mirror right here. Check outfits. Like I said, this is the armoire with a flower, with a vase with flowers at the top. This is so cute. The way they really use the space in this apartment is amazing. I love that. So, there isn't much in here. Oh, this is the thing to iron. Okay. And warm water to warm water. Right here. Tray and nothing. So, other than that, that is it. Yo, I love it. So nice. I love it. Love, love, love it. Is this open? Oh, yeah. We have a view up here. I didn't even know. So, open using those <laughs> so yeah this is the living room look at that decoration the fishes <laughs> so and the bamboo and that's it but yeah yo the lamp too is so cute i love this apartment i'm glad what happened at the other apartment happened for us to have this apartment so yeah y'all that's it good morning you guys i'm on my way to go to my aunt's house i'm currently waiting on a hobby to get here I'm in the car. He went to the pharmacy to grab some medicine for one of our friend kid back in the States. After that, um, we went to my aunt's house. She cooked for us and actually have a sore throat. So they also got me medicine um, for my sore throat. You guys, yesterday I was crying, literal tears because of all the pain I was feeling every time I was swallowing. Now it's getting a bit better. I honestly don't think it's a sore throat. I think I'm allergic. Oh, I ate something I was allergic to, which is very mind blowing because I'm not allergic to anything. But yesterday I tried different type of deli meats. And after that, my throat just started hurting every time I was swallowing and speaking. It was just a lot. Right now, it's way, way better. So my aunt got me some medicine. She said my cousin had that a couple of weeks ago. So they said they got me on that. I have been drinking hot water all night. Yesterday we went out, trust me, I had taken Benadryl. I was sleeping. I slept at the hookah lounge the whole time. I'm telling you guys, the whole time I was sleeping. Even when they gave me my drink, I snapped it real quick, took a sip, put it down, never touched it again. When they brought the hookah, got a couple puff out of it, gave it, passed it, never touched it after that. Next, you know, they woke us up to say the hookah spot is closed. It's just to tell you guys that that Benadryl knocked me out because of the pain I was feeling. Hubby was like, babe, you know, you can just stay home. But I was like, you know, I'm on vacation. I don't want to mess up my vacation. He was like, you know, if you're in so much pain, just 
stay home. So I end up taking the Benadryl. If you guys don't know, Benadryl makes you drowsy. Yeah. And sleepy. Yeah, I slept. I got home, tried to stay up because we were, you know, trying to chill. And I was just dozing off, dozing off. It has been a lot. But thank God I feel better today. That's why I feel like it was an allergy reaction because the pain is going down. So hopefully what my aunts give me helps me. She made um, soup and rice with um, goat meat, I think she said. Yeah, so that should also help as well. Anyways, I'm planning on also getting my hair done. But the hairstylist told me to get there at 3. It's currently 3.15. So I don't know if she's still going to take me because yesterday when I was supposed to go there, she didn't take me because, you know, I was late. She got somebody else. So I don't know. But you guys, I pray this feeling goes away because in a swallow, I still feel the pain, but it's not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday, I felt like someone was literally stabbing my throat. The amount of story time... I have to make about this trip y'all that's just another topic for another day i have been through so much things since i landed here in paris it's crazy it is crazy so y'all got story times for days coming y'all get ready get ready i might start uploading twice a week just because of all the story times i have about the hearse car rental about um the first airbnb we got all that like i got so much story time for you guys just wait on it Probably just texting me that he's here. Let me just answer him and I'll talk to you guys soon. So yeah, I'm at the hair salon waiting for the hairdresser that's supposed to do my hair to finish doing another client's hair because I was late. Since I wasn't here at my appointment time, she took somebody else. Just waiting for her to finish with that person so she can do mine. Let me show you guys real quick. It's three, three of them on that person's hair, so they should be done soon. I have been waiting for like 30 minutes. I really want to get my hair done because I'm going to go visit places tomorrow and I need my pictures to look good with my hair done. So, yeah, just waiting. Took my hair out. I'm waiting. It's almost my turn. She stopped to do somebody else's. But it's gonna be quick so I can wait. She's just like shaping the eyebrows. So. I wait. She has been doing my hair for less than an hour. And look at how much she has done. She's quick. She's so quick. You guys, my hair is looking so good. And as you guys can see, I have lashes. She did my lashes. And this was only $25. What's your little poisson? She did my lashes and they look amazing. The next day. Good morning, you guys. Today is Saturday, August 12th, and we are actually going to visit the Eiffel Tower, Champs Elysees. Um, we're going to shop at Galerie Lafayette, and um, there's one more I'm forgetting. Mm, there's one more I'm forgetting. So today, we are full blown tourists. We got our tennis shoes on because we're going to be doing a lot of walking. We Going to park the car at my aunt's house, um, and my little cousin is gonna go with us. I have never um, took the bus or the train ever since I've been here, so I'm a bit, you know, on the edge about that. Cause I'm like, I hate having to sit and wait for the bus to come, and then while we're in the bus, mixed stop and all the stuff. But she's literally one bus away from all those places the only time we're gonna be taking the train is to go to the eiffel tower other than that my aunt is literally in the city like in paris so which is a great thing so yeah i'm happy about that hubby's right here hey honey hello babe so um yeah y'all so y'all gonna see me doing a lot of walking and y'all gonna be sightseeing with me technically like visiting places you know that are like popping in paris like most see before you go you know 
if you get here you don't see that if you didn't come to paris type of thing it's like coming to to washington and not going to the white house you know so yeah by the way that cousin of mine is actually coming to the states tomorrow sunday and um she's gonna be staying with us we actually go there on monday so it's for for sunday she's probably gonna spend the night at my brother's house or my mom's house and then we're gonna meet with her once we land and stuff like that so i'm excited about that because she hasn't been there for years and years last time she came there she was such a like she was so much younger and now she just you know um graduated high school so she's grown now so i'm excited to see how this trip is going to be for her because like i said the other one she was so young yeah let me stop rambling call my cousin and tell her you know we are on our way so i'll talk to you guys once we get in the bus or once we get my cousin see ya <laughs> Drops you right at the chance of My hubby went in there, so we are waiting for him. He was right next to the Zara, so it only made sense. Do y'all see this? This is the line, literally the whole line to go into this store. Paris Saint Germain. There's already a base already in there. He already. You know, he was online when I was in Zara. So, yeah, that's crazy. Look at all these people. This is my Zara bag of all the stuff I purchased from Zara. And that's Hobby's bag from all the stuff he purchased from Paris Saint Germain. <laughs> I'm excited. I might do a haul for you guys in another video if I get more things. So, let's see. We're still walking to our next destination. After walking for so long, we are almost there. <laughs> So, if you see so there's a show happening here, right by what we are here to see, 10, 10 20, 20, 10, 20 and give us the rest, yeah. yes. And don't forget, don't forget, it's really important, you can still pay by card, okay? Because the credit card machine is open 24-7, and it's safe <laughs> and secure. So guys, if you got some notes, so the show technically like he goes around getting money you know from people that want to give them money and he asks you where you're from and when you tell him where you're from he goes and tell people to you know clap for your country and he tries to do something known in your country so that's cool but we are here for this <laughs> and we got more places to go to so you guys we are here at the triumph we have taken pictures we have taken pictures and videos now we are going to our next location and it's so crazy y'all people actually rsvp and pay to be up there if i knew that i was gonna do the same but y'all first destination check now we're going back to the train to go to our next one so i'll see you guys when we get there it's so bad.
So here is the line to go at the top of the Arc of Triomphe. And you also learn about it right here on the screens. So you have to see how crazy the line is. So those are people that are actually being paid to go in there. So, which is not us, so we are living. I didn't know that it was to the metro station. That people go in there, but apparently it is. So this is the line over. That, that's crazy. It's super long. It goes all the way down there. Yeah, it just, it just couldn't be. Oh, and there's someone playing here. And there's more people going. is right there and you see all this right out oh wow look oh that took me by surprise wow the Eiffel Tower let me do this. <laughs> oh, it's blurring it, but y'all get the point. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Wow. Wow. Yes. <laughs> right, he does not cousin. Yes. Wow. Let me look at it with my own eyes because I'm looking through my phone. Wow, this looks so nice. This is so awesome. I'll purchase some souvenir here so as well. Nice, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's drinks here, but Hubby and I want to go grab some to eat after all this tourism today. Let me take pictures and videos and film some real for more Instagram and TikTok. Then I'll be back. But well, you already get the gist of it. Right? You really see it. Really, really, really. Just finished taking pictures over there videos and boomerang and all that good stuff it's now time to get something to drink before we go to our next location so that's why we are here it's a short line so we like that people are leaving and more people are coming it's a very busy place The refreshment I got is like a frozen drink. Um, we're about to go to our next location. Hope we got crepes and juice as well. And my cousin got the same thing. I didn't want to get anything to eat because I know we're about to go to eat at a restaurant after all this tourism. So I should be good with this one. Pretty refreshing. Since we bought a lot of things, the men gave us these three for free. That is so nice of him. Exactly. So, that's our bag back there too. We got a lot of things. He's finishing packing it. Since we told him that we are flying with it, so he's trying to pack it so good that it doesn't break in the plane. But I'm excited about these three ones that he gave us for free. So cute. We are at our next location. Once again, the train is just right here, the metro. And... Galerie Lafayette. We are here. Awesome. 
It's time to shop some more. You guys, Hubby and I wasn't lucky. Mm -hmm. We couldn't find anything we liked at this mm H&M. -hmm. So we are looking for my little cousin. So we can go. I can see so many things from up here. It's amazing. Y'all see? Oh, see what's here? <laughs> Y'all see that? Hold on. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? I love it. I hope we went to another floor, but I told him to come up here because it looks nice here. It's coming. And after that, we are going to eat. I'm hungry. I don't have anything to eat all day. Can we something else? All day. Because that's slushy and water. That's it. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. That's the Sacred Heart. It's a big church up there. You guys, we are leaving Bellevue, France, and we are going to grab something to eat. I'm excited because I'm so hungry. We are almost done for the day of being a tourist in Paris. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. So my cousin said to take the bus this time, so we're about to do that. I'll talk to you guys soon because we are walking pretty fast. So we decided to stop and grab some ice cream, you know. This is where I cross from the bus station. I got passion food and coconut. It's so good. So we're about to try our tacos. Hubby wanted us to go to Restaurant Mahabu, but it's temporarily closed. So we are going to Otakos. We are now with his cousin. So we got the food to go. Here is um, cheese nuggets. I just took a bite. And here I believe I have my fries with bacon and all that. I see ham. There you go. That looks more like ham though. And some type of sauce. So I'll tell you guys. Let me taste it real quick. This one tastes good. Let me taste this one for you guys. Um, Mm-hmm. Yep. It's good. It is 2.36 a.m. And we just arrived to a hookah lounge. I've been mean, about to go on our little date. Just him and I spend some quality time together. Which is really important in a relationship, in a marriage, in all type of shit, friendship and all that. So, let's go. Here it is. The clothes is pretty late, so. So this is actually where we chose to sit. Private, quiet, perfect. Our drinks are here. I got this. And I hope you got water. This is the spot we are at for our day. It's just us and another couple. So, so awesome. We are now going home. It's 4 57 in the morning. It was a nice date. But you had a good time? Absolutely. It was nice. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. We are at the red light right now. And we are 8 minutes away from the house. We just got back to our Airbnb. It was a fun late night date. Had a great time. Now it's time to freshen up and go to bed. Don't mind that flickering light. It's been like that since we got to this Airbnb. But yeah, y'all. I'll see you guys tomorrow. The next day. So y'all, yeah, we're about to leave. Hi. That's Jordan's cousin. We are leaving. And we are going back to our apartment now. Look at her. She's so cute. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> so y'all, yeah, we are going on a date. On a boat. 
um, that will take us all around Paris. But there's so much traffic. It is 9.28 and the boat is supposed to leave every 30 minutes, so 9.30. So if you miss this one, you have to wait for the 10 p.m. Um, boat. So there's so much traffic, y'all. Look at this. Just to get there. But y'all can already see the view. It's so amazing. The Eiffel Tower is up there. It's already lit. So we wanted to do this at night because, you know, we want to see you know Paris by night you know with all the lights and stuff but you also have the option to come here during the day it's called Bateau Mouche so if you're in Paris definitely check them out it's only $15 $15 each so sorry 15 euros each hubby and I in dollars was 33 some dollars so with 34 dollars if you are with your partner you are set so yeah we're currently just driving down Hopefully we can find some parking because parking here in Paris has been something. So yeah, I'll catch you guys when we get to the boat. This is the name of the place we are going with. It's called Bateau Mouche. And look at all the crowd, y'all. So many people. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. time we go under things like this like under bridges listen listen they scream every time we go under the bridge <laughs> yeah, I heard that. <laughs> I'm about to join them yelling under this bridge y'all hold on They scream because people at the top that are up there are also screaming so they scream we scream and that's why it gets so loud <laughs> We are going home. It was a fun time with Jordan's family. We have to stop packing. All right, y'all. That is the end of today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
after this, we literally got ready to come back to the state, and that was it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on my next one. Make sure you subscribe.